The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined the Queen in Balmoral over the bank holiday weekend as many royals visited Scotland. The long weekend has become an annual fixture in the royals' diaries and according to a source as one the Queen and the Cambridges always look forward to. A source told Vanity Fair, William, Kate, and the children have been enjoying some family time in Scotland and they have just spent some special time with the Queen. They always enjoy going up to Balmoral. They love the outdoors and walking in the hills and spending quality time with family. It's where William spent a lot of his childhood and it's important to him that his children experience what he did as a young boy. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles also headed north to Aberdeenshire this week. William and Kate will have seen the spirits lifted on their first trip away since Prince Philip's funeral in April. While the couple now appear in a good place, a royal expert claimed that the Cambridges questioned their relationship four years before tying the knot. The couple briefly broke up in 2007, four years into their relationship, with one of the reasons believed to be because William refused to spend New Year's Eve in 2006 with the Middletons. It reportedly upset Kate and the pair grew further apart in the following months before going their separate ways in April 2007. On an episode of the Royals podcast last year, Royal expert Angela Mollard explained, It felt like a wedding that came not in a hurry. They had all those years together. They had split up during that time. So they had been able to really question if this was a relationship they wanted going forward. Reports from April 2007 also claim that William broke up with Kate via a phone call that she received while at work. One of her former colleagues at the time told the Mirror that they saw Kate take the call in the office car park in London. They said, it was clear it was William, and definitely a tiff. Around the middle of the day, she was pacing the car park outside the office on her mobile. A few people noticed because it's a pretty unusual thing to do. Shed deliberately gone outside to take the call because she didn't want to be overheard. Kate was walking up and down and looking upset as if she was having an argument. But she didn't cry. Word went round that it was William and they were having problems. Now it's clear what it was all about. When she came back to the office she didn't say a thing and disappeared for the rest of the day. We didn't think anything about it at the time. But looking back, the call was definitely a girlfriend-boyfriend tiff. In April, the couple celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary, and appeared very happy as they shared two portraits of themselves. They also released a family video of them climbing sand dunes on a trip to the beach as well as running around in a garden and toasting marshmallows over a fire. Related articles Prince Harry put his ties with Marines under threat with Queen snub Prince Harry livid after senior royal said Meghan's his showgirl Prince Harry's memoir will leave no member of royal family unscathed.